Hi everyone, welcome to the new order webinar. My name is Julia and I work on the product team here. Today we're going to go over the new mobile 4.0 app. If you search on the Apple App Store for mobile 4.0, you can download it and it is the one with the black icon. Okay, so now I'm here on this iPad and I have my credentials all signed in. Sometimes when you call into New Order and you have a question about the app, the first question we'll ask you is, hey, what version is this app? If you look on the bottom left corner, you can tell them, I'm on version 4.0.22 and it's build 186, okay? So I have my email and my password typed in there and if I check Remember Me, uh, I won't have to log in again. So now I'm gonna log into the app. And here you'll see a list of all the brands that you're connected with, okay? And the most recent ones, the top five, I believe, will be listed under most recent. So I'm going to tap into women's. And depending on your the portal or the brand that you're in, you'll either land on line sheets or you'll land on the product page. Uh, so I tapped on the top left corner there, which is the menu, and you can see that this is the menu that we have, mobile 4.0. Uh, is very similar to the web platform. So you can see all the different pages that we have here. And then if you scroll all the way to the bottom as well, oh, oops, sorry, you'll be able to see the same th information on the bottom, version, building, and then um, you can see the send debug information there as well. Sometimes we'll ask you for debug info. This is one place where you can send it. So let's go to the product gallery. In the product gallery, you're going to see a list of all the products. And as if you tap on this icon here, you'll be able to see all the filters that are available. You can search for your product here. And um, you can also check here to multi-select your products as well. And once you do that, you'll have the ability in the top right corner to either add to a custom list. So if I tap that, you can choose a list or you can add it to the cart. Um, so I'm going to cancel that for now. And one thing that I want to show you is um, you can tap into each product here and you'll be able to see all the details of this product. You can add sizes here as well. You can add it to the cart. If you tap on the image, you'll be able to see um, the zoomed in image of each product. And if you use two fingers to pinch and zoom, you'll be able to see the details uh, as finely as you want. So let's go back to the gallery. Now, uh, two, one thing will happen if you either click on the t cart or if you click on this teal banner that says, who are you shopping for? Okay, so let's tap that. You're gonna see the shop for modal. And this is where you can uh, pretty much set the customer or the client that you're shopping for now. Sometimes this is helpful because it will redraw the gallery depending on the visibility rules that you have. So I'm gonna quickly select a company that I've set up and I can search here. It's going to be called Eric's Demo Retailer. I'm going to set that and you can see that it pre-populates the buyer and the sales rep. You also have the option to skip for now if you want. If you know you can set this up later and you just want to add a bunch of items to the cart really quickly. So I'm going to hit shop now and you can see that the gallery redraws because there are certain products that are not available for Eric's Demo Retailer. And now I'm going to add this quick uh, uh, I'm going to tap on this cart here so I can quickly add these items into the cart. Okay, now I've added three items in the cart and the cart is located in the top right corner. So if I tap that, it'll take me into the cart and I can see the products that are available in the cart. If I tap on a card, it will open and I can add um, sizes, I can choose warehouse, I can select delivery date. So I'm going to tap here and change this delivery date to October. I also have the option here to apply this to the entire order. Um, but I won't do that. So I'm just going to say that uh, applied to Iona dress pack here. And now uh, this is a functionality that's available depending on the brand too. If I hit, I want uh, one of size two, you can see that the uh, unit size and the quantities in the uh, little gray circle here right under the dress says 12. That means that this dress is sold in a pack. So I can order one pack of 12 at $202.40 each, and that gives me the total, which is $2,428. And then if I go down to this other product, you can see that these are just uh, regular sizes. The strike through means that there's a discount applied to this product, okay? So now that I'm done, um, I can tap on this bottom blue bar that says all, 
And I'll be able to edit group by, I can see all the products individually, or if I only want to see items that are in July or October, I can just tap on one and you can see that it filters out to show me only one product. If I want to see all the products in July, you can see um, that these are all the products that are in July and I could go back to all in delivery. I can go into edit order info and this is where I can change the company, the buyer, if I want to add a PO number and add notes, change the addresses. Um, these are, this is the place where you can edit all the order info here. On the top right corner, there's a save icon. So if I tap this, I can save this order as a draft or I can email it and send it to somebody. If I tap the uh, more options kebab, I can see that I can save this order as a draft. I can expand all line items. If I do that, um, it will just open all the line items in the cart. I can also go to barcode scan mode. So this is really cool. For brands who have set this up, you can use your iPad or your iPhone's camera to barcode scan products. Um, you can also use Bluetooth to attach it to um, an external Bluetooth scanner. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to tap use your device's camera and you can see here that this is the camera and I can scan the barcode and the product will actually scan directly into the cart. So once I'm ready, I'm going to go to checkout. I'll see a summary of uh, my order. I can see the discount that is applied. And then I can also tap here and sign my signature. And then if I hit accept, it will upload the signature. And then once that's done, I can submit this order. Oh, so now this is a perfect example of what happens. There is an error with this order that's preventing um, order submissions. If I go to edit order info, I can see, ah, the order tags is required and I didn't select an order tag. So I'm going to say this is Project Vegas. Go back, close this, check out, and check out once again. And you can see that my signature was saved even though I navigated it away. So now your order was successfully uh, submitted, which is great. You can have the option to just clear this or to view order. One other thing I want to show you quickly is you have the ability to add products to a line sheet if you have the ability to edit line sheets or to a custom list very quickly from the product gallery too. To start, the fastest way to start is to hit the star on one of these products. So if I hit star here, it'll say choose list and I can choose from an existing list or an existing line sheet if I have the permission to edit line sheets or I can create a new list. So for this purpose, I will say new list and save. And if you look in the top right corner next to the cart, now that icon is teal and it has a one on it. That means there's one product in that list. If I hit keep adding stars, you can see that there are a bunch of items that are just being added to my list. If I tap on this list from the top right corner, I can see all my items that are here. Now, this is a really great functionality too. If you I tap on this more um, actions kebab and I go to organize items. It puts me into edit mode. So on the each product card on the bottom left corner, you'll see three gray lines. If you put your finger on that line and you kind of just hold and drag, you can reorder items as you see fit um, on a custom list or on a line sheet. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that. And the other thing I want to show you is you can go into the line sheet gallery here. And the same thing, this is where you'll see all of your line sheets. Um, just the way you would see them on the web, this is how you'll see them um, on the mobile too. You can see there's the section headers as well. Same thing with custom lists. You can see all of your custom lists here. And then the one thing that's new about mobile 4.0 is the orders tab. So now instead of just uh, seeing only orders submitted on a specific device, you can see all your orders that you have the permission to see for the whole portal and it will go back to however long. Um, historically, you can see all the uh, orders as well. And now if you tap in, you can see all the different orders that are here. If you tap on the more options kebab, you can take order action. So for example, I can move this order to approved straight from my mobile device. Or if I change my mind, I can cancel this order as well. And now you can see that this order is canceled. Um, I would recommend always you working online just because that way you're always fetching the newest data and the latest information. If you tap into companies, you'll be able to see all of the companies that are available to you here. You can search. You can also add a buyer or a company here as well. Um, if you tap into a company, 
very quickly you'll be able to see all the details you'll see all the buyers that are associated with this company and all the orders that are associated with this buyer or with this company excuse me same thing with buyers if you tap into buyers here you'll be able to see a list of all the buyers and the retailers that they're connected with if i hit eric demo eric panisi i can see all the orders that are associated with this buyer as well now this is something exciting um, on ipad only you'll have the same um, access to the reporting functionality just as you would on web app not on iphone only on ipad here as well and then you can also see all of your campaigns as well over here so if i tap into this i can see that i sent this uh line sheet to four intended recipients and one of them open one of them actioned and one of them actually clicked on something so if i hit view campaign activity i can see all the details here i can see Brittany worthy opened this email and she placed an order on june 14th okay the next thing i want to show you is offline setup so just like the old app um, the mobile 4.0 gives you the ability to do a full download of your brand data. Okay, so you can see here, I have already toggled this on from previous uh, sessions. So it would be really easy. We recommend you be plugged in and be on strong Wi-Fi when you try to download uh, your brand, because as long as you're on the screen, the iPad or the iPhone will stay on. It will turn on just so uh, you won't get interrupted in your download. So to toggle, to begin a brand download is very easy. You simply toggle on brand data and product images and you can see um, your progress in this bar and how many things that you've uploaded as well or downloaded. And then you also have the option to toggle and download high resolution images. Um, so just keep in mind that depending on the size of your brand, that may take up a lot of space on your device. So to check how much space is uh, required or it's going to take up, you can look down on the bottom here. It says image disk size and database disk size. And the last thing I want to show you is the sync center. So in the sync center, this is where it would only be relevant if you're working fully offline. So say you're at a trade show and the Wi-Fi is really bad. You, as long as you have a full brand download from offline setup, you can place orders, you can create custom lists, you can send out campaigns, you can do all the things that you would do online but offline and they would be stored here in the sync center so once you've done you've completed all your items offline you can come here look at everything in your sync center and then um, as soon as you're connected to the internet or to your data plan everything will sync through automatically there is no further action that you need to take if there are errors that happen from sync so for example you're trying to uh, sync an order but then um, you over ordered like in there's um, you ran out of inventory and this order can't go through, you would see that as a sync error here in the sync center. Then you can just tap onto the card and it will take you into the cart and you can just follow the steps to try to resolve this issue. And uh, that, is, that is it for Mobile 4.0. I hope you guys really enjoyed this um, webinar. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us. You can also send feedback to mobile at neworder.com. Thanks, guys.